Gemara tells us in Zvachim Kuf Yud Chesam Base. The Gemara says that the schar that Yosef at Sadik had from watching his eyes, he was zoichet to have the mishkon on his chelik, and he ate kachim in that place. So Yosef at Sadik, a few moments of shmir seima einaim, a few moments of refraining from an avera that was so difficult for him to refrain. So we were zoichet to years and years of kedusha and shechina. And that's what a person has to realize. Every moment that a person can possibly refrain. Sometimes a person thinks, the Chofetz Chaim, for example, brings this. The Chofetz Chaim says, imagine a person wants to speak Lashon Hara. He's got that juicy bit of gossip to say, and he's so excited. Everyone's sitting around the dining room. Ah, I'm going to be the one to share the news. I'm going to be the one to talk about it. Kavalnik. And he says, you know what? We just, we just, you know, some very kindly reads Sheva Shmir Saloshan at the dining room table in Yeshiva. How can I just now go along and say Shmir Saloshan Ara? I can't do that. You know what? I'm going to withhold myself. And he manages to withhold himself for just a few minutes. Because then 10 minutes later, he just brushes blurts it out. He can't manage anymore. Did he get any schar? Did he get any reward? The answer is absolutely. Why? Because for those 10 minutes, it was hard for him to hold it back. It was hard for him to hold it inside. But he did it anyway. And he got tremendous schah to the Rav Chaim. There isn't a malach that can comprehend the schah that he would get for that. What does that mean? That means for us. I want to try to give some few practical ideas of how the Yetzirah works. The Yetzirah says, if you're going to do it anyway, so just do it now. And the answer is no. If you can withhold, if you can prevent your, your Yetzirah from getting hold of you, no, not now. I'll do it in five minutes. I'll hold myself up for five minutes. Now, sometimes you'll be matzliach and say, forget the whole thing, abandon the project. And sometimes you won't be matzliach. And you will look. And by saying, then at the end of the day, for those few minutes that you managed to withhold yourself, it means the world to the Rabbi Nishlaila. And if it's just for those few minutes, even if you're not Matzliach at the end, even if at the end you didn't manage and you did press the button, then you did look. But you withheld for those few seconds, those few moments. Do you know what those few moments are going to do in Shemayim? Do you have any value to what that holds in Shemayim? The Rabbi Shemayim says, look, he wanted to so much, and he didn't. That's a tremendous accomplishment. The Gemarian Kedushin Daf Mem says, if a person has the opportunity to do something that's an erva, and he was saved from it, the Gemara says, they do a nace for you. As you mentioned last time, you have an opportunity to daven for anything you want at that moment. The Chovetz Chaim writes in the first Be'aloch and Chaim, in Simen Aleph, says the Chovetz Chaim, the greatness of holding back, says the Chovetz Chaim, and he quotes the Seyvachine, Bechol Rega Verega. Every moment that you withhold yourself, you know what that is? We look down at it. We think, big deal, I'm going to do it anyway. What's the difference if I do it now in five minutes? But it, it's not true. That's the eight Sahara. Because sometimes after five minutes, you'll have a bit of seich and you'll say, you know what? Maybe not. And sometimes you won't. And sometimes you'll do the avira. But for at least five minutes, you withheld yourself. You know when Shomayim, the Malachim, are, ah, ah, for five minutes he wanted to do that and he didn't do that. That's incredible. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.